Hey what's up Jason here from Unity3D.college. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a simple loading scene like this to show in between scene transitions. So let's get started. I'm going to jump over to Unity and uh, this is my main scene right here. So this is that menu that you just saw with a big button and just a random background I found online. The important part here is this progress scene loader but before I show you that I just want to show you the button and how that's hooked up. So we have a single button in here, this start button, and it has a load scene button script with the name of the scene that I want to load. And if I open that up, you can see it's just a serialized field. We register for the click right here, and then we call load scene once we are uh, ready or once the player is clicked. And in there, I just disable the button and call this find object to type on scene or project progress scene loader, and then tell it to load the scene. So let's dive into the load scene loader and see how that works. So I'm going to select the prefab here and you can see we've got a single script with a progress text reference and a slider reference. And if I expand this out you'll see we also have a canvas on here that's disabled. I'm going to enable the canvas so you can see what it looks like. And this is the load scene. It's not actually a scene, it's just a canvas that pops up. It's loaded once in the main menu and then kept around and enabled and disabled as needed. So that way we don't have to do any extra scene loading in between. Uh, one thing that's important is the sort order on the canvas is high enough that it's uh, above the menus and shows ahead of everything else. You want to make sure that you're not rendering some other menu on top of this or some other canvas. Now under here I've got the background, I've got the text that's just at the top that says loading. We have a slider that I renamed to progress bar and deleted the handle off of. And then a text field right here to show the percentage. So let's open up the script and see how it works. Let me shrink this down. Oh, actually, I think that might fit perfect. So the first thing you'll see is we have the two serialized fields for the text and the slider. If you only want to use a slider or text, you'd only need one. We have an async operation here, and then we have a reference to our canvas. Now in Awake, we get the canvas and just cache that, and then we call don't destroy on load just so that this object is around when we're in another scene. So if we want to call to load another scene, we can make the same call and not have to worry about where this thing came from. Or it's just always there. Now our load scene method that we called from the button first calls update progress UI just to clear out the progress, set it back to zero. And then we enable the canvas. Remember this canvas is disabled by default. Uh, we're not disabling it in awake, although we could. Uh, so we enable it, and then we kick off a coroutine called begin load, and we pass in that same scene name. Remember that scene name comes all the way from the button. Now in begin load, we cache the operation result of the scene manager dot load scene async. This is part of the semi new scene management stuff from the 5.5 ish days. And uh, this gives us back an operation where we can look at the progress and check if it's done. In 2017.2 and forward, there's also an event for completed. It doesn't seem to work in 2017.1, although IntelliSense still tells me it's there. So I'm not sure exactly when that was added. Uh, so what we do once we start off this load, we go through a loop and we just watch for operation dot is done. So while it's not done, which is essentially the entire time it's loading, we update the progress UI by calling our update progress UI method and we just pass in the progress parameter of the operation. This is automatically updated by Unity as the project loads. And then we do a yield return null because we're in a coroutine and we need to give back uh, control of the, the thread to the, the engine. Uh, once we've completed, so once this loop finishes, we call update progress UI one more time. That's just going to pop it over to the 100%, set the operation to null, and then disable this canvas. And the update progress UI just updates the slider to the progress value. Progress is going to be from 0 to 1, so that matches exactly with what slider takes, which is 0 to 1. And then we update the progress text just by multiplying progress by 100 and casting that as an int to round out the, the number and then adding off the percent at the end. And that's all there really is to this progress system. It's relatively simple. You could build a much more complicated loading system, a more advanced one, but this will handle most situations. Now it's also important to note that when you're in the editor, you're probably going to see something like this where you click, oh, I need to re-disable my canvas. There we go. 
So what you'll see is usually you'll click start and it's just gonna kind of pop up to the end. Watch, in a second. So it went to 89 and then kind of disappeared. Once you do an actual build though, you'll start to see that progress go up. There's some difference in how it works in the editor versus a build and those progress updates just don't come nearly as well in, in the editor. So be aware of that, just watch and do a build and test and you should see it kind of load up a bit more smoothly. It's also important to note that once you hit the 90% mark or 0.9, which is why it's stuck at 89%, the last little chunk there where it swaps the scene is not asynchronous. That's why there's no real progress made between the uh, 89 or 90 and 100% mark. So if you wanted to kind of fake that and have it stop at 100% and then do the loading, you may want to just kind of add on 10 to that value, have it go across and then at, at 100 it could do the actual swap where it's really at 90%. But it might look a little bit better. Uh, and again, the system's pretty simple. I'll put the source code in a link below so you can just grab this progress scene loader along with an asset pack that just gives you this thing with um, or sorry gives you the prefab here so this this progress scene loader just without the random image that I found online so that, that'll be available just down below and again if you like the video don't forget to like hit subscribe share it with your friends and uh, thanks for watching